CataractCoach.com. Run out Capsulorexis leads to challenges. Fortunately, the ports are already in place for the vitrectomy. Now, tough situation here. Look, that's the patient on multiple pillows and blankets just to get positioned for the surgery. So tough case here. You can see it's been prepped nicely, and then the ports are going in for a vitrectomy. Absolutely white cataract here, making the incision. There's a little tripan blue dye. We've obviously sped up the video. There's the viscoelastic. Let's get the lens decompressed. So poking in with the needle there, needle decompression. I like that technique too. And then more viscoelastic. There's some HPMC on the cornea. Let's get this rexus done. And so here comes the rexus. That's not a big pupil, so I'd make this rexus much larger than that. And then come around here. And let's see, keep going, keep going. Now it's starting to run out. This is that danger zone we've talked about. We have a video on cataractcoach.com talking about the capsule rexus danger zones. That's one of the two danger zones. Now the phaco probe going in, that's a reasonable idea to decompress, get out some more of that intumescent lens fluid that's there, depressurize the capsule bag. I like that idea too. Could have done that at the beginning too with just a, a candle and just rocking the nucleus. Here's more viscoelastic going inside the eye. And let's see, can we rescue, rescue this using maybe that little technique? So grabbing it here and nope, doesn't really want to go. Looks like the caps has already gone out towards the designer support. So now what? Here comes a cystotome. So maybe doing a little bit of a can opener action here to open up that lens capsule a little bit, get a little more access to the nucleus. And that's reasonable. And now phaco probe going inside the eye here. Now, it's a small rexus, and remember, you've got some weak edges there where you did that can opener. So it's very tough. Ooh, bringing this out of the bag is going to cause some capsular rips. But there you go. The whole nucleus is now up in the anterior chamber. Okay. Recoding the endothelium, some viscoelastic behind it, viscoelastic in front of the nucleus. All righty. Here comes a phaco probe. Now, now, luckily, not too dense of a cataract. Opaque, yes, but not that dense. So chopping it up into pieces here and just aspirating in the anterior chamber. Now, let's take a look, see what happens. Those pieces are coming down pretty reasonably. Probably don't want to chop it up into too many more pieces because you don't want to have a ton of pieces floating around inside the eye. I like this technique of just about three or four pieces should be plenty, and these can be aspirated. Again, it comes down pretty easily. Now, you still don't know what's going on with that capsule back there and whether or not you'll be able to get some reasonable IOL support. Is, are you going to be able to put the lens in the bag or not? And so let's get that last piece of nucleus up. See the pupils coming down too to make your life more challenging. A lot of challenges. And now it looks like some epinuclear material there. And now going in, making a bimanual IA setup here. And I like using that infusion to kind of pull the iris aside to give yourself a little bit more view and see if you can aspirate some of that lens material. Kind of hard to get all of it. And let's see, viscoelastic to help expand things. I like that. Now going underneath that piece, I like that technique too. Vacuum it up and get it up. I like how the surgeon here switched hands to get better access. And still got some lens material. You don't want to leave that behind. That's going to cause a lot of inflammation. And again, we're still not sure exactly what's going on with the capsule. Is the capsule rexus still tiny? Is it run out? Is the poster capsule intact? What do we have in terms of options for IOL support now? So vacuuming more of that stuff out of there. That looks pretty good. Here comes the lens. Let's see what we're loading up here. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Let's see, getting that inside there. And there's the leading haptic. Hopefully that flipped over. Now it looks okay. There's the, there's the capital letter L for the trailing haptic. So maybe it's the correct orientation now. And now let's get that delivered. Is it going in the bag? Probably with a single piece acrylic. But there's still some like lens material back there. I hope the capture support is sufficient. And that's the vitrector now cleaning up. Is there a vitreous pull up in the anterior chamber? I'm not real sure, but that, that is the vitrector being used for cleanup. And now going pars plana with the vitrector to aspirate perhaps, yep, some of that lens material. So maybe the capsule bag is partially open there. So kind of a daring move there to put in the single piece lens. That looks good, cleaning it up pretty nicely. It looks pretty stable to me. So a nice result. All's, uh, all's well that ends well. And so now cleaning up that little bit of remaining lens material that was back, back there behind the optic. That looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, did I mention our Cataract Coach website? You got to check it out. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons here on YouTube, but also check out our website, our podcast, all that stuff. Here's parts planner for a good view going back there to remove, obviously full vitrectomy, but also to remove any of these lens materials that have fallen back there. 
And at the end of the case here, we can kind of seal things up and call it a day. Thanks for watching. And remember, please support us on social media and check out that Catalyst Coach podcast. It really is amazing.